welcome back to bosco campus vision this is ansi assistant professor department of computer application don bosco college kottayam today i am here for semester 1 students dealing with the subject introduction to programming first of all my wishes and blessings for a new semester as per the university order we have to start our classes and continue our studies so students you are requested to watch all the videos and attendance is compulsory there is a criteria for giving attendance at the end of the each session or each video there will be a homework for you you should write the homework and take a photo of that work and send it to me those students who are submitting the homework give you the attendance as per the 2018 of kerala university the introduction to programming syllabus is divided into four modules first module contains introduction to programming second module basic elements third modules functions and pointers and the last module contains advanced features of programming in this subject introduction to programming we are discussing the language called c first of all we have to discuss what is a programming language a programming language is a formal language comprising a set of instructions that produce various kinds of output programming languages are used in computer programming to implement algorithms most programming languages consist of instructions for computers a formal language comprising a set of instructions that produce various kinds of output is known as a programming language mostly the programming languages are used in computer programming for the algorithms then going to introduction to c programming language a computer is a programmable electronic machine that accepts instructions and data through an input device and then manipulate the data accordingly and the result is provided through output device and that is a computer nu parna endana or electronic machine aanu ഇൻപുട്ട് ഡിവൈസസ് വഴി ഡേറ്റാസോ അല്ലെ ഇൻസ്ട്രക്ഷൻസോ അക്സെപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്ത ശേഷം അത് മാനിപ്പുലേറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് റിസൾട്ട് പ്രൊഡ്യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഇത് വഴിയായിരിക്കും ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ഡിവൈസസ് വഴിയായിരിക്കും അതിനെയാണ് ഒരു കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ ഈ കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ ഈസ് എ പ്രോഗ്രാമബിൾ ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് മെഷീൻ ദാറ്റ് അക്സെപ്റ്റ്സ് ഇൻസ്ട്രക്ഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഡേറ്റ ത്രൂ ഇൻപുട്ട് ഡിവൈസ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ മാനിപ്പുലേറ്റ് ദ ഡേറ്റ അക്കോർഡിംഗ്ലി ആൻഡ് ദ റിസൾട്ട് ഈസ് പ്രൊവൈഡ് ത്രൂ ആൻഡ് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് ഡിവൈസ് the c programming is considered as the base for other programming languages that is why it is known as mother language adhaithu nammal ee padikkunna c programming nu parna language aayirikkum ella languages inde bakkiyulla ini padikkan povana semester la ella languages inde ella base nu parayunna theda aayirikkum ee c programming language aayirikkum adu kondu thanne ee programming language neyana mother language nu parayunnathu അപ്പം സി പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് ലാംഗ്വേജിനെ മദർ ലാംഗ്വേജ് എന്ന് പറയാൻ കാരണം എന്താണ് അതർ പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് ലാംഗ്വേജസിൻ്റെ എല്ലാം ബേസ് ആണ് ഏതെന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സി പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ ഏതൊരു പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് ലാംഗ്വേജിൻ്റെയും ബേസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഏതാണ് ഈ സി പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് ആയിരിക്കും ദെൻ ഗോയിങ് ടു ദ ഹിസ്റ്ററി ഓഫ് സി ലാംഗ്വേജ് ദ ബേസ് ഓഫ് ഫാദർ ഓഫ് പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഈസ് ആൽഗോൾ it was first introduced in 1960 1960 il aanu first programming language aaya algol introduce cheyathu algol means algorithmic language algol means algorithmic language in 1967 a new computer programming language was announced called as bcpl which stands for basic combined programming language 
BCPL was designed and developed by Martin Richard. Algol was introduced in 1960 and then BCPL was introduced in 1967. BCPL means Basic Combined Programming Language. It was developed by Martin Richard. Then in 1970, a new programming language called B was introduced by Ken Thompson that did multiple features of BCPL. In 1960, Algol was introduced. In 1967, BCPL was introduced. Then in 1970, the language B was introduced. Then in 1972, a great computer scientist, Dennis Ritchie, created a new programming language called C at the Bell Laboratories. The C was developed in 1972. A great computer scientist, Dennis Reggie. The impact of BCPL and C is observed indirectly through the language B. So, in 1960, Algol was developed, and in 1967, the language called BCPL was introduced, and in 1970, B was introduced. And in 1972, the language C is developed at Bell Laboratories. So, C is the combination of B and BCPL. The founder of C language is Dennis Ritchie. So, C is one of the most popular general purpose programming language. The C languages are not tied to any particular operating system it can be used to develop new operating systems also the c language is closely associated with the unix operating systems also the c programs are very efficient fast and highly portable that is c programs written on one computer can be run on another with mere or almost no modifications this is all about the history of C language. So in this lecture we are discussing what is a programming language. A programming language is a formal language comprising a set of instructions that produce various kinds of output. Programming languages are used in computer programming to implement algorithms. Most programming languages consist of instructions for computers. Then the history of C language. The base of the father of programming language is Algol. It was introduced in 1960. In 1967, a new computer programming language was announced called as BCPL which stands for Basic Combined Programming Language. BCPL was designed and developed by Martin Richard. In 1970, a new programming language called B was introduced by Ken Thompson that contained multiple features of BCPL. Finally, in 1972, a great computer scientist, Dennis Ritchie, created a new programming language called C at the Bell Laboratories. Also, the several important concepts of C are drawn from the basic combined programming language and B language. Today's question is define programming language. Then second question, who is the father of C language? Third question, briefly explain the history of C. First question, define programming language. Second question, who is the father of C language? And third question is, briefly explain the history of C language.